This is a spring here. It's a clasp, but it allows the bolo tie to go up and down on the uh, leather cord. So the guys really like that, and um, it really helps uh, for them. So that's why I did it. You just glue it on the back with some five-minute epoxy. Okay, so here is the starting of the bolo tie for my very special friend. The other reason why you want to leave uh, more material than what the stone is, right there, you want to leave, an, uh, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch all around. Because remember, you have to uh, install this clasp on the back. And if you, if you don't leave yourself more room, then you're going to see that clasp. And you don't, you don't want to have that. Okay? You can make sure it fits. Which it will. Okay. So, stone goes back in the tray. Everything goes in the tray that you're working on. It's a little secret. Okay, so when you're going to um, solder a back plate that's this big, uh, you're going to want to lift it up. And the reason why you do that, these are the little titanium clips here. And the reason you do that is because the torch can get underneath there and heat from the bottom, okay? So right now I'm going to apply some um, flux to just the area that I want soldered, okay? Because if you, flux will cause the solder to flow, which is a good thing, but we want it to flow in the area that we want it to. So, then you flux right around that ring. Okay, and I'm going to use medium solder. And it goes all the way around. Okay, so I have solder all the way around. Then I place it right there where those lines are. And I just try to make sure it stays in that position. You can use your soldering pick to kick it around a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna bring out the old torch. Get the ventilation system turned on. Eye protection. Now this one here is going to take some pretty heavy heat, so make sure that you don't uh, put the torch right on those pallions, which is the solder, because they will jump around if you do. Trying to get the flux to dry out, but you see how you're wanting to. Um...
I'm trying to get the torch, uh, the fire from the torch just to go underneath the silver right now. might have to move them around a little bit, but that's all right. It will take a while before this heats up is a pretty large piece of silver. Okay, here's the progress so far. We put the balls on. I'm going to be putting a blue lapis stone in right here. I have the leaf on. I have some cleanup to do right there. Um, and so now I'm going to do some stamping. This is the stamp I've chosen right here. And I'm going to do another stamp up above here because you see this one's straight right there. So it won't make the curve so I'll have to get another different stamp so but that's okay I don't mind and when you're stamping it's loud and you need some ear protection like right here and you want to use a fairly good hammer Get the impression as deep as you can. Okay, so here it is cut out. The edges are real rough, so you need to sandpaper. I'm using 500 right now. Then attach this to the back. And uh, one thing to, rem to remember is before you put on the tips onto the cord, make sure that you put string this through here before you put the tips on. Because guess what? If you put the tips on, it ain't going through here. Okay? So just a little tip for you. All right. Okay, I just wanted to show you um, how I patina. I have a little uh, container here and I put my liver of sulfur in there, a small piece. And before I put the liver of sulfur in there, I heat the water up to about for 30 seconds in my microwave. It's not boiling, but it is hot. And then I dip this in here. I want to get it very dark. And I just leave it in there for a few seconds. And then I put it in um, baking soda water, which kind of neutralizes the metal. And then I just go back and forth with that. And I, it gets it fairly dark. I mean, you can go at this for a long time. Okay, so here is the polished piece now. I still want to set the stone. I have to glue on the clasp and uh, for the glue I use the five minute epoxy. Okay I hope you can see where I have made a little outline here. That's of where I'm gonna put the clasp and the reason I do that is because I want to rough this area up a little bit and I also want to rough this area up a little bit. So uh, the glue will really get on there good. Uh, I know a lot of you jewelers uh, hate using glue, but um, I was watching Mark Harmon on uh, Rio. He was making a, a bolo tie and that's what he used. So uh, I'm just uh, copying what he did. All right, <laughs> don't get mad at me, <laughs> all right. 
Okay, here we are. We are going to take some some glue. This is epoxy, five minute epoxy. And you want to squeeze out about as much of one as the other. Try to get them fairly as close as you can. And then I have my handy dandy glue mixer. <laughs> So anyway, you want to just mix them up like that. It has, remember, a five minute setting time, so don't feel like you have to rush. Okay. And then you want to just put the glue on. And yes, I do want it to go through the holes because it will make a good, uh, the glue will pop out the top and it will kind of make that um, like a real, like a, almost like a cap on the top. You don't want to go too far over to the edge because you don't want to have a lot of cleanup. Now, a trick. Leave that little glue, um, oh, I don't know what you call it, glue glue thing. To uh, Leave it in there. When that sets up, your piece should be dry too. You just stick it on there. Okay, now it's I'm going to be putting on the tips right here, and I just wanted to show you, um, you kind of rough that up a little bit because you want a lot of glue inside of that, um, the leather braid. So what you can do is um, dip your tips in here. And you can see it's coming up, but that's okay on there. Okay, so you've got your tips in there, glued in there. There's a little bit of glue in the top, but that's okay. Now we're stand. There you go, little guy. Okay, so um, I'm setting the stone. Wow. Yeah. I haven't got it all the way done yet. But I just take a pusher. And I don't um, like go all the way around in one place. I rotate it, you know, this kind of thing, so that the stone will not move inside the bezel and it becomes set uh, crooked. So there it is. It's all polished, set, stone set, and ready for delivery. All right. Another finished piece of jewelry by Susan DeBay Jewelry.